Hi everyone! As I mentioned, I was selected to join a new design team. As you could tell from the beginning of this video, I am so excited to announce that I have been selected to design for Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I have loved their products for a very long time. When they did a design team call, I put my application in and I kind of left it open. So there were two different areas in their design team that they were searching for designers for. The first one was for Josette, who is Els is the owner of the company and Josette is her daughter who designs. And she designs amazing dyes, these just really cute characters and themes, so farm themes and snowflake themes and Christmas trains and just a lot of really fun designs. And then the other team was called the Beautiful Blooms team, which as the name says is more of a floral team. So I kind of left that open and I received an email stating that they had selected me to be a designer on their Beautiful Blooms team. If you have followed me at all for any length of time, you know that I'm pretty eclectic when it comes to crafting, so I don't typically, I, I can work with all products and I love all products, but there is always a special place in my heart for florals and I was chosen to participate as a member of their floral team and I'm so excited about that. So this is my first design team box. I did ask them, I got permission before I shared this to make sure that it was okay. Uh, all the products that I'm gonna show you are available on the Elizabeth Craft Designs website. I will have a link in the description box below. I am an affiliate, so if you click on that, you're really helping my channel to grow as far as uh, me being able to bring you new product, and I really appreciate you using those links. So, without further ado, let's take a look at my first design team package. Now, the new release for the Beautiful Blooms collection has not come out yet, so that will be my next box, and obviously I wouldn't be able to show you that. This is just kind of a welcome box and some products for me to get started. So I did open the box and I have looked at what I received because I needed to make sure that everything was in order. But it came nicely packaged just like this. I barely disturbed it at all. And this is what I received. Now I'm going to try to do it with the box and let's talk about the watercolors. So I received this beautiful pan of 24 watercolors and this again is available over on the Elizabeth Craft website. I will be using it to create with. So the colors are here on the back and I'll come back to that. I just want to open it up, I hope. So there's a finger palette so if you want to um, I'm left-handed, but if you wanted to hold it like this and watercolor, you certainly can. And I'm going to open this up for you. So you have your mixing palette, and I do know that the mixing palette right here, it comes off, and then you can add it. There's two holes right here. So you can add it right there and do your mixing and also have this side if you want. Oh, I did have some. This is not going to affect the product at all. It just cracked from probably the UPS guys throwing this box around. But I did, um, but I do have, sorry, I just want to get this in the right pan so I don't, mess anything up. So they're going to work just fine. There's no problem as far as that is concerned. There's some foam here, so I'm going to guess that that's where you can kind of dab off your brush. So the water, or you can put water on this, but I'm thinking you're going to dab off your brush and clean it off a little bit there. There's a brush that comes with it. So here is, oops, let me take this out. Here is the top to the brush. 
and then here's the bottom. So you fill the well with water and then when you want to add water to your brush, you just squeeze right here on the sides. You're just going to push and that's going to draw the water down to your brush. So it does come with that, which is really nice. Oops, let me put the cap back on there. And then the beautiful colors that we have. So we have Payne's Gray, Dark Brown, Burnt Umber, Rust, Okra, Wheat, Raw Ochre, Permanent Yellow, Lemon Yellow, Orange, Vermilion, Scarlet, Sap Green, Olive Green, Yellow Green, Pink, Rose, Crimson, Deep Green, Viridian, Indigo, Turquoise, Prussian Blue, and Mauve. So you have a large combination of colors and then once you start mixing of course you have hundreds of combinations so I'm excited to play with this because I do love to watercolor especially florals and then Elizabeth Craft Design also has tape so I received this is their 10 millimeter and this is their 6 millimeter or in English, it's uh, English transla translation instead of metric. It is, what is that? It's not English translation. It's metric and the word's eluding me. Leave it in the comment below. I know you guys are screaming it at me. Anyway, so the US measurement is 20, uh, a quarter inch and then this one is uh, 0 0.04 inches so a little less than well a little less than a half an inch all right here we go so I received some sentiment stamps that also have little stamps that you can build your scene with so this one obviously has the nice big scripty writing beautiful for a five by seven card a slimline card and then you have the um, happy birthday and the birthday wishes which is going to fit easily onto an a2 size card and i don't know if i have an a2 size card here i have a slimline base but i don't have an a2 but anyway it might fit on an a2 size card this is helpful isn't it so it's about five and a half inches long so it's a pretty big sentiment it's going to take up the full space on the front of a a2 size card but as you know i do create a lot of slim lines and mini slim lines so this will be just fine for that and i love the font the next one is going to be similar so the same script which i love uh, this one had happy birthday, so this one says birthday happiness, which is cute. And then you have best wishes, and this one said birthday wishes. So that's good for anniversaries. That would be great for an anniversary or somebody who's retiring. Wish big and then just for you. And again, you have some presents and you have some stars. Same scripty writing. This one says, you got this, so an encouragement card. Dream big, that would be great for graduation. Happy birthday to you, and then hello. And then you have an envelope, some little asterisks, hearts. This is really cute. I love this font. So this is uh, Sue Smith Creative Design. This first one is called Hello. It's CS173. This one is called For You, which is CS172. And then finally, this one is called Your Day, and it's CS171. So I'll have everything linked in the description box below. On to the beautiful blooms. So our first set is called Blossoms, and it looks like these are cherry blossoms and then we have the coordinating dies let me show you the dies ta-da um is this the right one no there we go ta-da um they cut apart so the centers if you look at at some of these 
dies or some of these stamps it's going to cut out in between here they are already separated for you so you don't need to do any cutting apart of the dies if we look here for this large cherry blossom it's going to cut that inset piece right there as well as in between and I love this I love the detail on this one it's going to cut out that center right there which is great this one doesn't cut all the way up but if you wanted to snip it up it's super easy to do but look at the detail in the die designs love that this one is called blossom and it's a C S224 and 1883 for the coordinating dies. There is a sentiment that says blossom. So on to the next one. This one is called Forever. It is CS226. And as you can see, it has some really beautiful sketchy birds. And then there's an ink blot, which is really fun because look, there's a coordinating die for that. Wouldn't that be really pretty on a card with a bunch of them popped up in rainbow order. Oh my goodness, that would be really cute. So the sentiment in here says forever, and then be still and the earth will speak to you. It's a Navajo proverb. And the coordinating dies again that uh, are cut apart for you already. You have a die for the sentiments, and then you have the detailed die, which is gonna cut out in between this little sun and the bird and all around all of the little branches. Very sweet. Next we have Hope, and these are poppies, and so this is CS228, and then it has the word Hope. It's gonna have a coordinating die for that word. The coordinating dies are 1887, and they, again, are already, sorry. already cut apart for you. And this one right here, it's gonna cut right down the middle. You can see that right there. So very detailed, very nice. All right, the next set I got is called Gratitude, which is CS229, and it's this beautiful rose set. And then it has the word gratitude. It has this petal right here, actually a few little petals that could be dropped on the floor of your card. Pretty. This one is called Mindfulness. There is a little verse in here. It says, the universe is full of magical things, patiently waiting for our wits to grow sharper. And that's from Eden Philpotts. And then it has a sentiment that says mindfulness, has the beautiful hummingbirds, which I like. And then it has what looks like, are these lilies? I think they're lilies, aren't they? They look like day lilies. So it has the lilies, which is beautiful. And then of course the dies are already cut apart and you do have a die for the sentiment. We have Respect, which is one of my favorite flowers. This is a peony, I absolutely love this. It has dragonflies, so there are two different dragonflies in this. Of course, there's some loose petals as well. And then the word Respect. That is the one thing that I miss so much about my house in South Dakota is I missed the peonies last year. Uh, peony is one of my favorite flowers and here where I am in the desert, they just don't grow well, but I love them so much and I really wish that I could have them, but can't have everything, can you? So here are the coordinating dies for that. And those are my stamp sets. So I have what I, what, one, two, three, four, five, six stamp and dies that are from the Beautiful Blooms. And then we have three sentiments, which are the big, beautiful, scripty sentiments. All right, 
We have a die here. This one is called Organic Triangle Background, and it is an A2 size background. And that's 1799 Organic Triangle Background. That's really pretty. I have stencils here, so I picked out a few different things. I kind of gave them a list of things that I would like to use that I allowed, not I allowed, uh, that I asked them to choose from. So rather than just getting a random box, they asked me uh, to give them an idea of some of the things that I would like to work with alongside the uh, Beautiful Blooms collection that I had. So these stencils, they're smaller stencils. If you've never been over to Elizabeth Craft Designs before, they do have um, a really great journal over there and they do a lot of passport books and uh, different pages and releases and dies and things like that that are for planners. So if you're interested in that, I would uh, highly recommend that you check them out. Let me see if I have a piece of paper here. Um, just so you can see these a little bit better. So this came in a pack, and again, they're planner size, but for me, they're going to work perfect on my A2 cards. So it came with this one, which is really pretty, and this one. There's this one with the triangles, kind of like stained glass. And this one... And this grid, that's very cool. And of course, we have another one with little flowers. Another one with more of the curves. Oops. This one right here with dots. I want to say that this is like $12.95 for all of these stencils. So they have a really good price point. This one's really cool. There's that one. It's kind of funky. And then we have the lines. So these are the art journal stencils. This one is called Happy Patterns. So there's the Happy Patterns. Put this aside. And then I received 10 sheets of their adhesive 8.5 by 11 sheets. So there's 10 of those. These are perfect for this product right here, especially when I get to that. Um, this is going to come in really handy. We have the soft finish cardstock. This is 85 pound cardstock. I have 10 sheets of this. Let me take a look here. Open this up. Just gonna pull one sheet out. So I know that when they do the flower cutting that this weight is supposed to be like the perfect weight for creating your flowers with. There is more of a textured side. I don't know if I can show that. There's like a, um, not a, like a linen texture. It's more of like somebody has taken a wet washcloth and dabbed it on paint. You know how you would get that effect? That's kind of what it feels like on this side. And then the other side is super smooth. So there are, let's see, 10 sheets in here. And then we have this. If you are not familiar with this from Elizabeth Craft Designs, this is super exciting. I've always wanted to try this. This is called the Silk Micro, micro Fine Glitter. So this glitter is like powder, okay? And the way that it works is I could either mix it with texture paste or I could cut out a little piece. I could cut out a piece from this and I could add some of the um, tape to the back side 
and then cut out my sentiment. So if I had a word die, and then I'd sprinkle the microfine glitter on the sticky side of that, and then I would burnish it in. So I'm excited to share that with you because it's absolutely beautiful. And from what I understand, it's it doesn't get all over the place um, when you touch it. Like once you burnish it in, it's there. So this is called a uh, cool diamond. I know that there's also a warm diamond, so I'll probably get that on my own at some time. This is called sea glass. Look at how pretty that is. I don't think the camera is really going to pick up the beauty of that green. It's going to look more of a silver, but it's it's definitely a green. This one is called teal. Look how pretty. And then this is Diva, appropriately. Look at that. Gorgeous. That's Diva. And then we have the peony pink. Very pretty. So these are the silk micro glitter. And last but not least, I wanted a paper pad. They have a few of them, but this, that's just my packing slip. This right here is called Worn Wood Pattern. It's 12 by 12, 13 designs, repeated randomly, 190 90 GR cardstock. So mid-weight, and I just thought wood grain is always beautiful with florals, so I thought that this would be really nice for some mixed media cards. There we go. I'm going to close that back up. Next time I'm just going to cut that. That would have been the wiser thing to do, but anyway. So we have this beautiful pattern right here. And then we have the blue gray, which I love. Oh, that is so pretty. And then we have another blue gray. Oh, actually, there's brown in there as well. So very worn. And we have some greens and some darker tones in this one. And of course, you have the script writing in the background, which, and the, um, watercolor or the water droplets on top. The next design is this worn wood right here that's more of a, like a fence. And then you have the whitewash, really pretty, again with some water on it, some water staining on it. That's really pretty with that leaf. And then we have more of a deeper blue, kind of in between like a navy and a teal, which is really pretty. And then there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's some little red stripes that are kind of coming down through that as well. And of course, you've got the script in the background. Beautiful paper. This one is grays, browns, and blues with a little bit of orange in there. Very rustic. Then of course you have the green. Then you have a little bit of stamping down here. And this one has more text up here. And of course the peeled paint look. Beautiful. Another white with green on it. Very weathered. And then this one. Oh, this is really cool. No, nope, it does go this way. Look at how beautiful, oh my word, look how beautiful that is. Oh, this will definitely make its way onto a card very soon. And then look at the dots. Look at the texture on that. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. And then we're back to, I believe, the beginning. So we're back to the beginning. So there are, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are 12 patterns, two of each design, which is absolutely beautiful. So that is what I received as my welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. I can't wait to try this. And then of course we had the cardstock and we have the 
double-sided adhesive, the stencils, a die. We have the sentiments. Two rolls of double-sided tape and all of these stamps and dies from the Beautiful Blooms collection. I want to thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I am going to be posting uh, both on um, my blog, which is linked on this channel. I will be posting on my blog and then I'll be doing one or two videos a month do using some of these products as well. So be on the lookout for that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's a great place to follow me so that you can see everything that I've created. Because as I mentioned, I do post some things straight to my blog and not necessarily all of my creations go on to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.